Fossils are remnants or impressions of ancient organisms that are naturally preserved in rocks. Fossils provide evidence about the types of organisms that lived long ago and clues about the nature of their environments. The collection of fossils and their chronological order in sedimentary layers of rock is known as the fossil record. The fossil record documents the existence, extinction, and change in many life forms over time. While this record provides a fascinating account of the past, many questions remain unanswered. Paleontologists are scientists who specialize in the study of life forms that existed in previous geologic periods. They study fossils in order to find out more about the extraordinary history of life on Earth. They are experts at reading and interpreting the clues that are found in fossils. The process by which organisms are preserved in stone is known as fossilization. And this process can occur in different ways depending on whether the organisms are altered during the fossilization process. Preserved fossils formed when animals are trapped in tar, ice, or amber. For example, tree sap can trap an entire small animal like a frog or a mosquito. And sometimes these organisms are so well preserved that their DNA can be removed and partially sequenced. And scientists have recently uncovered preserved woolly mammoths frozen in ice for thousands of years. They hope to make a mammoth-elephant hybrid by making embryos that carry mammoth DNA. Trace fossils form from an imprint that is made by the animal. Trace fossils include footprints, trails, burrows, and nests, and even poop. A mold is a fossil formed by the impression of an animal in sand, mud, or sediment. A cast forms when the mold is filled with sediment that then hardens into rock. Fossils often form through a process called permineralization or petrification. During this process, minerals from water enter the bones of the dead animal. And then minerals form crystal networks in the pores of the bone. And finally, minerals harden into rock while preserving the original structure of the animal. Finally, fossils can form when layers of plant or animal tissue form thin black films of carbon. So it's pretty interesting to see that fascinating fossils form in a variety of different ways. Is it possible to model some ways that fossils form using simple materials? Materials needed, gelatin, water, plastic animals, play-doh, cup, dinosaur, shell or fossil, plaster of Paris, and a spoon. Mix the gelatin as directed and pour some of it in a cup. Place your animal in the gelatin and cool it in the fridge until it turns into amber. After it gels, remove the amber fossil from the cup and observe your animal trapped in the amber. Spread out a muddy path of Play-Doh for your dinosaur or extinct animal. Use your dinosaur to make some trace fossils in the mud. Spread out some muddy sediment for your organism to fall in and push your organism into the sediment. Remove your organism and observe the mold fossil. Mix plaster of Paris as directed and pour it into the mold. Allow the plaster of Paris to dry for 20 to 30 minutes. And then carefully remove the cast fossil from the mold. You can even color your fossil to make it look more natural. What was your favorite method of fossil formation?